Hi, this is Kevin Osborne. The purpose of this video is to show you how to download and install the Arduino IDE, which is the program that we use to uh, compile and, and download code to our Arduino. We'll also show you how to set up the Arduino IDE once it's installed uh, for use with the Circuit Playground Express board. So the first thing we want to do is to go to the arduino.cc website. Just a note, it's good to do this on a good network where you have good bandwidth. If you're on a corporate network, sometimes they're a little slow. They're going through all kinds of checks and firewalls. Uh, you can do this at home. Uh, it'll be a little faster, but uh, it will eventually uh, complete. So uh, here we are. It's a little confusing. They have a lot about like projects and how, where to buy Arduinos and how to learn about it and how to donate to their cause. But the real uh, action that we're interested in is up here in the extra menu item. And we want to go to software. And there are online tools where you can code through the browser. But that doesn't work so well in a corporate environment. So we'll go to downloads. And we're going to skip over the Arduino web editor, which uh, we don't want. And we're going to go download the Arduino IDE. The latest version is 1.8.5. And they have installers for the three major operating systems, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Uh, this Windows app is for Windows 10. So if you want to be working on a Windows Surface or something like that, you can use that. But we're gonna, I'm going to use the Mac OS X link. It asks you to contribute. You can if you want. Uh, or you can say just download. Uh, and then I've already done this download. So, uh, but we can, we can start another one off here. And you'll see. Uh, I'm off the network here, so I can do it pretty quickly. The next step will be installing that. OK, once we're finished downloading, we want to show the downloads. Show it in Finder. Get the zip file. I'm going to unpack the zip file. This is the Arduino app itself. It's not an install program. You can run directly from here, or you can drag it into your applications. Once it's in applications, you can uh, access it via your launch pad. It takes a little while to load up. And it, we want to say it's OK to open it. And right now, it looks like it's not there, uh, but sometimes the windows get buried. So you want to click on the Arduino icon down here. And there's our, our uh, first sketch that we can start writing. Uh, setup, loop, this is a basic Arduino code structure. But first, we need to select our board. We go up here and we say tools, board. Oh, look, our board's not here. So uh, what we need to do is we need to run the boards manager. And it will go out and get a list of the boards that are supported. And uh, we want this Arduino SAMD boards, which includes this Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. So we're going to click on this and say install. And uh, this sometimes takes a while, so uh, be patient. And um, if you can do this on a network that's fast, that's even better. Let's fast forward through this a bit. Yay, it finished. OK. Now uh, we can close this. We want to go to the Tools menu again and select Arduino, or sorry, Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. And then you want to pick which port it's on. It should be here, uh, something like this, the dev CU USB modem. On Windows, it'll be something like COM2 or 3 or 4. On Linux, it'll be something like uh, dev, TTY, ACM, or USB 0, something like that. So there we go. And now we're ready uh, to uh, write an Arduino program. 